Hi everybody, it's Doreen and welcome back to day 18 of Christmas Cards with the Cricut. This is the card for day 18. So let's go ahead and get started so I can show you how I made it. Okay everybody, I'm going to go ahead and give you the measurements for the base of my card. I cut this cardstock and it's just some more cardstock from the recollections collection from Michaels and it's cut at four and a quarter by eight and a half and then I scored it in half to make it four and a quarter by four and a quarter. My next layer of cardstock measures four and an eighth by four and an eighth. And I'm going to go ahead and take my top layer, which measures 4x4, four four, and adhere that to my bottom layer, which is the 4 and an eighth by 4 and an eighth. And I noticed on my sample card that my top layer, the ornaments, are going the, the other way. I guess when I put that together, I didn't notice that until just now. So I'm going to make sure I don't do it on this one. But this is my sample card anyway. So I'm going to flip this so it is on the, the ornaments are going in the right direction. And then I'm going to go ahead and take my ATG gun. And I've already taped my trim around my top layer and with some tape. So I'm going to go ahead and take the ATG gun now and... Tape all my corners and in the middle. And I hope I don't run out of tape because I'm getting near the end. So now let's go ahead and lay this down. I also ink the edges of the bottom layer and the top layer with my Tim Holtz Distress ink. The peel paint. So I'm going to go around, get, make sure I got my edges, make sure everything's adhered in the middle. And now I'm going to go ahead and add the top layer. These two layers, I'm sorry, to the, to the base of the card. So I'm going to first check to see where I have it lined up as I opened up my card and then I'm going to go ahead and adhere this layer to the base of the card and see if I will make it if not I will have to find and I am out but I think I did find my Tomboy adhesive let me see. Nope, I didn't. So I will have to go ahead and reload my ATG gun or find my Tombow adhesive, and I'll be right back. I'm back, everybody. I found my Tombow adhesive. So let's go ahead and adhere this, these two layers down to my card. And go ahead and do my edges and there I have my card now for my ornaments I cut out these three ornaments and they are cut at two and a half inches and these ornaments um, I cut using the paper is from flower shower by die cuts with the view or DCWV and it's a spring glitter matte stack. So all the papers in this stack are glitter paper. So, and the ornaments are from the Holiday Cakes cartridge. And it is on, they're on page 46. And it's these three ornaments right here. And then I cut the layer the top layer as well and that paper is 
um, some coordinations paper called foundation. So now I'm going to go ahead and adhere these to my card. And I'm going to use the glue gun to adhere these rather than using the um, foam tape. But I first want to place them where I want them. And then I'm just going to take the glue gun and go all the way around and adhere to my card. Like so. And then I just hold down for a few seconds just to make sure it's adhered. And the glue gun, sometimes what it does is, if it gets cold before you actually get your, um, whatever you're adhering down, you have to sometimes go back over it again. And then it kind of gives it a pop-up effect. So let's put our middle one down. And get some glue on there. And I try to do this really quick because it dries. You get a little play, but you want to make sure it's really hot when you do it. And I'm going to put that one right there. And then I'm going to add the third one. And go ahead and glue that up with the glue gun. Make sure I don't burn my fingers. And then I'm going to go ahead and adhere this one down. And then I'll go back and use my adhesive tool and pull up all the little straggly glue strings you get by using the glue gun. Okay, so the, the other thing I need to do is I want to go ahead and add my buttons because this card is also going to be for a male, so I don't want to put too much bling because I've already got the glittery paper on there. So I'm going to position where I want them. I'm going to put that one right there. Then I'm going to take the glue gun again and just put a faint amount of glue. And then it's here. And get up the glue strings again. And I'm going to go ahead and do the next one. And put that one right there. And then I'm going to add my last one. And adhere that one. Whoops. And put that one down. Now, these buttons I got at Michael's in the dollar bin. They came in several colors. Okay, so there's the front of the card. So now my last thing I want to do is add my sentiment. And I'm going to go ahead and take and stamp this down. I'm just going to eyeball it. I'm not going to use my stamp -a jig for this. And I'm going to use my Stampin' Up! Real Red for my sentiment. And my sentiment is from an Inka Dinka Doo stamp set. No, actually this is not from Inka Dinka Doo. This is a recollection stamp set. And it says Peace on Earth and Happy Holidays. It's two separate stamps and I just put them together to stamp out. So I'm going to eyeball it again, and I want it to be about right there, so I'm just going to go ahead and stamp down. And there you have it. So that is the card for day number 18. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye.